water signs cancer pisces scorpio welcome back to my channel everyone thank you so much for being here with me today we're going to be looking at your weekend tarot messages and see what comes up here for you uh, water signs um this can also be to the cross watchers dealing with the water sign as well so thank you for liking sharing subscribing and signing up to membership let's have a look and see what's coming up for you in love these next 24 to 48 hours okay strong Taurus coming in um, next to some of you so you could be dealing with a Taurian uh, planet of love here so this is very powerful okay um, king of swords the reverie card and one more Okay, we've got the four of wands. This is a very powerful relationship that you're in. Okay, so whoever you've got next to you, whoever you're thinking about, whoever you're fantasizing about, um, this is really powerful. Okay, I'm seeing a very rare connection. Now, rarity is coming up with that unicorn here. Okay, unicorns are known to be lucky and they're known to be very rare. So some of you have found a very rare person or a very rare kind of connection. And it really fulfills you in a lot of ways. Now, you are possibly having the same effect on this person as well, um, and they too are feeling that like you are a very rare energy person, lover. They're feeling this on very profound levels. Um, that King of Pentacles, it's Taurian energy, right? So this is there's lots of romance, I feel, that's coming your way, where things are about to get a lot more romantic here. Um it could also be stubbornness in a situation. I feel like when I see that card, I feel like someone's coming around. So there may have been, um, I, I feel like there is an important conversation coming up, maybe with the King of Swords. So King of Swords is very articulate, um, can be a Gemini or Gemini energy or just raw communication in general. Um, so if that's the case, I feel like there may be some um, exchange of words or a very important um conversation about your future that's about to take place here it may or may not involve uh talks of marriage or engagement or being really really serious i feel like someone wants something very serious with you and they want that and they want it to happen fast maybe you only started dating you only started talking um but i feel like for this person already they're thinking about marriage so they could be stepping um they could be jumping the gun a little bit they could be um a little bit ahead you might sort of still be sort of wrapping your head around the connection here water signs and that's okay too um because you you've come up as reverie as you can see there's the, the water and the boat so out of all the cards this is you but reverie tells me your mind is elsewhere or you're fantasizing about someone or something else there's some sort of fantasy or thought you always thought you had. I don't know if it's this person or not that you're dealing with or it's someone maybe from your past. Um, but I feel like as time goes on, you're starting to question. You're starting to question big things here, like whether you're really with the right person, whether it was the right decision for you to let go of a, maybe a previous relationship. Was it the right um, idea to enter into a new relationship here? It can be like your mind is being whisked away elsewhere. Um, and your subconscious thoughts are trying to tell you something. Look at all the butterflies present here. Butterflies are messengers, okay? So there's lots of thoughts or words or conversations maybe that you are repeating over and over in your mind. And I feel like there's some convincing or some coming around that needs to happen here, either for yourself or maybe for someone you're dealing with at this stage. Um, what I want to say with the Four of Wands is that there's always potential and you could be very happy with this person or who you're with, okay? But I still feel like with the reverie, for some reason, you're protecting yourself. You're not opening up fully. Maybe you're not ready. Um, maybe this is not where you saw yourself, but the boat is protection. You do want to move forward. It does speak about a love journey, so I'm seeing progress that's being made here for you. So if you think you're sort of stuck in a rut or things aren't moving, really they are. They may be moving very slowly. Um, but I also feel like emotionally, this could be that you're elsewhere. You're feeling like you're elsewhere. Um, so it's like you're not maybe present entirely in a, in a moment or in a relationship. Um, and the shield is up here as well. So you're quite guarded about a situation. There's someone... Now, it's hard to identify if it's you or if it's someone you're dealing with, but they're guarded because their mind is elsewhere or they're still thinking about the what-if questions. 
there may be something that happens in your life here, a very personal or private moment, and it makes you think very seriously about where am I going in life? You know, who, who am I? Who do I want to become? Um, what's in it for me? Is, is what I'm doing the right thing for me right now? So there's a lot of these big questions, especially around romance, though that king of pentacles it could be romance or career the two could also be linked so for some of you it's like a very passionate love or partnership it could even be an affair for some of you you're starting this kind of naughty little setup here so be careful here water signs but that the romance and, and business thing could be coming up mixing business with pleasure um, and also someone could be unavailable and married because i'm seeing with the reverie someone's mind is not in it there is like it's like when you're together someone's like mind is somewhere else they're distracted or they're thinking about another person or they're you know they're they're it's like escapism here so what's going on here water signs are you trying to run away from a connection here you're avoiding it so like you're there physically your physical presence is there but emotionally your heart is elsewhere your mind is elsewhere and that is what's coming up here it's going to come up more and more king of swords it's repetitive thoughts and cycles and words you're going to start talking about it more and you may attract whatever this other thing is that you're thinking about a lot, okay? Whoever this is, maybe it's a person, um, maybe it's the, that opportunity, maybe it's a conversation you've been wanting to have with your significant other. Regardless, you're going to attract it. Thoughts are very, very powerful. Um, and there is a bit of like fantasy. I'm seeing like fantasy projection. Maybe you're wondering, okay, what is it like to be with this person? I wonder what they're like as a husband or as a wife or as a partner. Or I wonder what they're like in bed. I wonder this. You know, you're sort of, it's the what ifs. But obviously it's something you want. Otherwise you wouldn't be fantasizing about it, would you? So, you know, hone in on that. Whatever it is that has your mind's attention, that has your heart's attention, or is tugging at your heartstrings, think about it. There's a reason why you keep going back to this. There's obviously something there. The King of Pentacles is the last king of the deck. So this is powerful. It's either the person that you're with now or the person you're thinking about. They could be the ones for you. Okay, They, they could very much be the person that you'll want to end up with. They could very much be the one. Um, so this would be exciting. But enjoy the journey. Okay, overall energy uh, crowning your reading was that four of ones. It's that, that happiness card, celebrating love, feeling fulfilled in love. And this is that union here. So um, the opportunities are there. The opportunities for happiness and fulfillment are there. It's just whether you choose to give your heart to it or not, or you're ready for it or not here, um, what decides. I'll wrap it up there though. So thank you again, everyone for watching. It really does mean a lot. Um, please don't forget to leave a like, share or a subscribe. Uh, feel free to sign up for membership for bonus readings and extended versions. Otherwise, I'll catch you very soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.